home. I know we've been saying it's a little bit chilly outside. People need to have a jacket tomorrow, but once we get to my days off later in the week, it looks amazing. It's going to be real nice. Yeah, <laughs> extended part of the forecast is just wonderful, but tomorrow kind of begins. We're kind of setting the path for our forecast and the weather story, and it all starts for our Sunday. It is going to be getting a little bit chilly out there. In fact, kind of cold, probably temperatures down at freezing or below. You may need a heavier jacket tomorrow morning, but by the time you get to the afternoon, you can go for a nice walk, bike ride, check out some of the flowers, all the trees that are blooming. I love this shot. I love this big purple flower here. I am not sure what type of flower this is. Uh, feel free to share that information with me, but this is uh, probably my favorite from uh, some of the photos that you shared with me today. So thank you so much for doing that. It was a, a wonderful day um, and it just feels really good to see uh, all the photos that you shared. 42 degrees coming out of Ailin Nay tonight. A few cars out there, which you can't really tell what's going on is that's clearing out above our heads. We're not going to see a lot of cloud coverage for tonight. We didn't have much heat today. Uh, and a little bit that we did have is all going to escape out into the atmosphere and we're going to cool on down behind that disturbance, which brought in some very scattered showers today. Uh, in fact, a bit isolated uh, is some cold air and that's all going to settle on in, especially here in the valley and practically across the whole state. I mean, you can see how we have some lower 20s and some teens possible off towards the east. And so just about everyone's going to see temperatures maybe a good 10 degrees below average overnight tonight. We should be about the lower 40s. So with that forecast of 31 degrees tomorrow morning, it may be a new record. Uh, the current record's 33 degrees, which was in 1991 for the morning low temperature over at the airport. And so with that, we'll probably see some frost and we may even have some record breaking morning temperatures for tomorrow. The Oregon coast, nice and sunny for, uh, for the afternoon. Um, I see temperatures probably warm up to about the mid 50s. Yeah, you may see some frost as well. A very gentle breeze through the morning hours, picking up a little bit for the afternoon. Here in the valley, we may hit about 60 degrees, very close, upper 50s. And that wind is running out of the north about 5 to 10. Off towards the east there, a little bit cooler for areas like Pendleton and Baker City. Madras topping off maybe the upper 50s, pushing 60. Nice dry day with plenty of sunshine for you folks there. And heading into the gorge, a very similar forecast. Possibility for some morning frost. Very gentle breeze, though, for you folks from Hood River to the Dalles. Up towards government camp temperatures at 47 degrees. And that sunshine icon for you as well. All right, that ridge of high pressure is just forming right off towards the west of us here. And it's going to set up through the week. And that, again, begins tomorrow. And we're going to see temperatures slowly increase through the week. And by the time we get to about Wednesday and heading into next weekend, we really start to flourish and see some warmer temperatures. As for tonight, we clear out, as I mentioned, no rain in the forecast. Not at all, not even a drop. I don't see that happening. Monday, we start to see this offshore flow, which will help increase our temperatures a bit. And then, as I mentioned, we get to Wednesday, still sunny and warm. Look at that, upper 60s by the time we get to Tuesday. Yeah, mid 60s, upper 60s, definitely by Wednesday. And then Liz, Thursday and Friday for that time off. Temperatures in the 70s, very nice weather coming. 74, that's what I like to see. <laughs> Thanks, Joseph.